Ik wil papa Teraumat. At this moment, I will give the floor to Minister Van Nieuwenhuizen. Cora Van Nieuwenhuizen is the Minister of the Dutch Government for Infrastructure and Water Management, the Minister of Infrastructure and Water Management. And as you may all know, we are um, in the uh, waiting for the Dutch elections, which will happen next week, which also means that our minister has, of course, many other uh, things and responsibilities at this moment. But we are very happy to have her keynote speech available for you, which we will have right now. Dr. Siti Nubaya Bakar, Ambassador Grijns, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for inviting me to this post-climate adaptation summit 2021 event organized by the Dutch Embassy in Jakarta. Unfortunately, I cannot join you in person today, but I'm happy to have an opportunity to speak a few words via video message. At the Climate Adaptation Summit in January, President Joko Widodo said, the impact of climate change is right before us especially for archipelagic countries such as Indonesia. I couldn't put it better. This is a reality check. Unless we act now, it's game over for global society. Climate change is one of the major challenges of our time. Not only do we need to limit the greenhouse effect, we also need to respond to the inevitable impacts of climate change. The Paris Agreement set clear goals for both mitigation and adaptation. It stresses the unprecedented scale of the challenge we face, a challenge we can only deal with successfully if we join forces. The good news is that adaptation will enhance growth and development, create business opportunities, reduce inequalities and protect nature. But effective adaptation is conditional on cooperation and partnership on taking account of climate resilience when investing in infrastructure. And that's why this event today is so important. Practical and concrete follow-ups, action tracks to build back better and create a more resilient future. Our interdependence has never been more clear. Communities worldwide need to join forces and learn from each other. We all need to act because the impact of local action, or the lack of it, will be felt on the other side of the planet. So we all recognize the urgent need to act, and thus the need for shared knowledge and expertise. I support further collaboration between our two countries to limit the effects of climate change and enhance climate adaptation. Exactly one year ago, I visited Jakarta and Surabaya. And since then, the COVID-19 pandemic has forced us to organize meetings and visits online. Like the Online Climate Adaptation Summit 2021, which the Netherlands hosted on the 25th and 26th of January. It offered a unique opportunity to connect initiatives, solutions and challenges, to build back better and accelerate adaptation action. Over 18,500 registered participants attended. More than 30 world leaders, 50 government ministers and 50 international organizations joined scientists and private sector, civil society and youth representatives. They joined to pool their efforts, share knowledge, generate action and drive the agenda towards a climate resilient future in 2030. I very much appreciated the participation of Indonesia, one of the convening countries of the Global Commission on Adaptation. It wasn't just a one-off opportunity. Today's high-level meeting underscores the vitality of the commitment to action. It's been said countless times. Indonesia and the Netherlands have a lot in common when it comes to the effects of climate change. Water management, delta management and coastal management have always been important pillars in the collaboration between our countries. And in the coming years, this cooperation will continue with a focus on addressing water-related sustainable development goals. The Netherlands aims to support Indonesia's national priorities and national medium-term development plan in these areas, as well as our own international water ambition. Lessons learned and good practices 
such as building with nature in Demak, will resonate in these future activities. Promoting transfer and exchange of know-how and bringing parties together to take good ideas from the design table to practical application. Working in harmony with nature and building communities. It's the new approach, not curbing national forces, but using them as a part of the solution. Through the DUTEP projects with Jakarta Capital City and the Living Labs Water, we're sharing, multiplying and applying our practical know-how. The network of alumni of Dutch universities in Indonesia comprises over 20,000 people eager to exchange ideas and collaborate with this bilateral network. They can help strengthen awareness of the substance and potential of the Global Adaptation Action Agenda. So I welcome the launch of the Winner Alumni Challenge today. We need the involvement and creativity of this generation to come up with fresh ideas to promote awareness via outreach campaigns on the climate adaptation agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, our conversation has only just begun. And in the years ahead, as we jointly pursue our common goals with regard to climate adaptation, our cooperation will only become stronger. I wish you a constructive day and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.